On the COVID-19 thing, cases obviously on the rise around the world, including America, but deaths are not. Now, it's a, le a lagging mm -hmm. indicator. We'll see what happens. But I think everyone knows, uh, you know, it, Courtney, uh, on April 25th, there were 29,000 cases and 2,358 deaths. On October 27th, there were 65,000 cases and 768 deaths. Most places are not going to lock down. The places that will lock down, to Catherine's point, already have double-digit unemployment. They probably would hurt the overall economy. But are you going to make changes to your portfolio based on that? At this point, it's really too early to do so. I think everybody's looking to Europe right now because they're kind of ahead of us in this surge of cases, and they are facing lockdowns. But it's kind of a lockdown light that we're seeing, where it's not the full lockdowns that we saw back in April. They're closing down certain things like bars and restaurants, but trying to leave a lot of the economy open as best they can. And here in the U.S., it's a state-by-state -state basis. We're not seeing these mass um, lockdowns on a federal level. So I think trying to make changes based on that happening is a lot too preemptive right now. And it is leading to some of this right. volatility in the markets here. But, I, I, you know, we really can't make any changes on it thus far. All right. So you mentioned earnings. Let's talk about that a little bit more, because I think it's been an amazing earnings season, particularly forward guidance. We haven't seen forward guidance this positive ever. But obviously, you know, at this point, uh, Courtney, it hasn't mattered. Right. And so we've seen all of these stocks. Many of them pop, go straight down. Some have just gone straight down. Does this mean in your mind that stocks are maybe priced for near term perfection? You know, I think it's just getting overshadowed right now, realistically. I, I think the earnings season doing so well is why the markets were doing so well up until this week. When we're now a week away from the election, we have COVID cases spiking, we have stimulus that's stalling, and that's what's overtaking the the great earnings that we're seeing. But at the end of the day, earnings are really what Wall Street cares about, and the focus will shift back to there once some of these other headlines pass. So I think you don't want to get out of the markets right. and be nervous about these other headlines. The shift will focus there. And to your point, that guidance looks great. And you don't want to miss out on the upside when people return back to that focus.